Hello, I'm Frank Langella. I'm pleased to be your host for the National Theatre of England's production of the Oristia by Aeschylus. Tonight, it's the second play in the trilogy, The Libation Bearers. After it triumphed in London in 1981, this production was done at the ancient Greek amphitheatre at Epidaurus. The first time in history a Greek play was performed there by non-Greeks. All three plays were done in one day, starting at 5 p.m. and lasting over five hours. While the experience was a strenuous and rewarding one for the actors and audience, it was nothing compared to the original Greek productions thousands of years before. Then, the plays could last for days on end, and the audience number as many as 30,000. Casts, however, were much smaller in the original Oristia. All the main roles were played by three male actors who changed masks and costumes for each part. One thing hasn't changed, however. According to scholars, the Greeks invented tragedies for the same reason we still need them, to be moved by the stories of those more exalted and misfortunate than themselves. And now, part two of the Oristia, the libation bearers.